So you start with your tomatoes. Now I got mine from neighbors and my stepmom's garden. Some places like a farmer's market might sell a case for not very much. So I have, I have a combination of Romas, uh, some round ones, I don't know what they are, maybe beefsteak, and then these heirlooms. So I cut the tops off of these and then of the heirlooms I just scored them with an X and then you blanch them in boiling water for about 60 seconds to two minutes and then you'll see the peel is starting to come off. And then I take them out of that and I dump them into an ice bath. And then, so you see how the peel is just sliding right off, okay? So after I've done all that, I'll just slide all the peel off of all of them and put them into my prepared jars. And I have one of these metal doodads. These are quart size jars, okay? And they're clean and sanitized from the dishwasher. And so I'll just put the whole tomatoes all the way up and I'll show you what I do from there. My jars are full. I ended up with seven quarts and three pints of whole tomatoes. Next step, I am gonna put one tablespoon. Doo -doo. Okay. Of lemon juice into the quarts and then a half a tablespoon into these uh, to bring the acidity level up to prevent any like bacteria and botulism and that kind of thing. Okay, next step. You can salt these if you like. I choose not to add any salt and then when I'm cooking with them, I can add whatever salt I want. So I've got some boiling water right here and we are going to fill these up to basically the bottom thread see that with the boiling water so you guys it's just fresh tomatoes a little bit of lemon juice and water that is all that goes in these okay let me do the rest of them and i'll show you the next step all right, they're all full, but we wanna get all the extra air bubbles out. So you can stick like a knife kind of down in there and squish, see those air bubbles? If you get air bubbles in here, your jar lid might explode during the canning process. Um, it's not as scary as it sounds. And see how my water level's going down? I'm gonna to wanna to top that back off after I do this. All right, I've gotten all the air out and I topped up them off with the hot water. So I'll take a clean rag. I got a little bit wet on the corner and I'll, any tomato juice spilled, I wanna get that off so the lids can seal correctly. Now we're ready for the lids, ta -da, and rings. So I'll put, these are hot. I put them in some warm water to soften this edge. And then I'll stick them on like that. And then I have a wide mouth right there on that one. And then you take the ring and just screw that right on. And you wanna screw it to like finger tight, but not over tightening because it can explode that way too. Ask me how I know this. <laughs> I know from experience, you guys. Got my water bath canner. It's going on high. And I've got my seven quarts ready to go into the hot water. So I'll lower it down and then bring it to a boil with the lid on. And once it hits a boil, it needs to boil for 45 minutes for quart jars. And then I can take them out and do the smaller pint jars. We are all finished. Look how beautiful they are. And you see the top, like it doesn't bounce when you push it. That means they've sealed. All of them have sealed, so we're good. And I've got home canned whole tomatoes at the peak of freshness. And when I cook with them, I'll just, all that water that's in there, I'll dump all that in also. I use these for chili, spaghetti sauce, uh, different kinds of like sausage, red sauces, um, jambalaya, taco soup. I use them a lot. Anything you would use canned tomatoes for, you would use these. And obviously this pint would be a little bit larger than your typical can from the store. But please, I have a family of six. There's no way I'm only using one tiny little can in the first place. I'll usually use three, which is about what that would be. Try it out and tell me how it goes.